Uh, a couple of others. Uh, so, constant releases into production, functional on go live, and user tested. Minimal bugs, test driven development. And as I say, minimal bugs, and invariably those bugs were identified before you went into production. So, during the testing, through bug testers as well as business, those minimal bugs were identified. We do not go into production with bugs, and we haven't. Uh, and that's, that I find really very valuable as a business owner. Uh, we, our team felt less red tape as well, and hence there's a little red face, because I think if you work certainly in our environment, um, maybe it's more common to financial services, there's a lot of paperwork, there's a lot of documentation, there's a lot of governance required, and it's correct to be. However, in this space, what we have to do is there's constant validation and therefore there's this need for as much documentation. It doesn't detract from the value of documentation. People felt it's more fun and energized. It's amazing what all those stickies do and getting people together and jokes being passed and people being interacting continuously. The relationships are incredible. And uh, everybody seems to be having a lot more fun and wanting to deliver even more. Uh, UX in terms of user experience, I've touched on. Prototypes provided the very basic prototypes, wireframes to clients, um, which were viable and could go ahead. <coughs> Feedback as well. Bridges and factors. Boundaries set, but flexible within boundaries. So there are boundaries in terms of where you go in terms of this business and what you've got to deliver as an outcome. Because um, as business, we're certainly not in the space of one having an open a uh, blank check, okay. uh, it's costly, learning <coughs> IT, and two, you also don't want to just not know where you're going to start it in. So the boundaries are clearly set, but there's a lot of flexibility for the team to operate within that. And we've often find that creative innovation and creativity from the team. Uh, less structured and more approach, uh, and the transformation framework uh, ensures that the right practices are adopted. So the practices that thought was introduced to us, uh, we molded, we've now adjusted to suit the JSC uh, way of working, but they work and uh, we continue to transform. So there are, there's my project and a second project now in this transformation and hopefully soon a couple of others will go down that route. Some agile considerations if you are in a waterfall environment typically. Documentation is still fundamental to us. Because when people leave, or when you've got new clients joining, or you've got new staff joining, you've got to have something to refer to. And you've got to have some form of documentation in terms of tracking processes. So that's important. Ability to retain levels of governance. We're a financial services. Most companies have a high level of governance required in terms of this. Those are important. Collective skills are crucial, and maturity of skills in the delivery team. So bringing in a junior VA who doesn't have the same level of expertise to operate across business and IT would be a bit tricky. So collective skills as a group becomes quite important, the right skills together, operating together. Capacity planning is interesting because we often in a space where we're delivering at any one stage over 50 projects in a year. So you do not have the luxury of having solid teams across all 50 projects because that's not effective use of capacity. And that's something that we are grappling with to determine how do we go forward from having a team totally dedicated from tester to VAs to everybody involved to having them cross multiple projects. Dedicated roles to the project, talk to that as well, and specific roles are really within this project. And obviously to make it efficient, you've got to have multi-projects being held by those multiple uh, roles. New business processes could outweigh optimization of end-to-end -end result. What that means is you, you, we do have a danger which we've encountered and we've got to look at, is that you don't just focus on the business process for the business, but you're also looking long-term in terms of the knock-on effect in terms of IT and what they have to support beyond the system going into production. Budgeting process, that's been the interesting one at the JSC because we don't believe in giving open checks. We clearly have to determine what the cost of the project is going to be, what
what the timelines are, and also we've got to determine how do we account for the delivery of these projects, which at some stage they have to be uh, amortized. So that's some one of the aspects that we're having to navigate because of this fluidity of, uh, of process. And that's something we put the tag on. And of course, it requires the behavior of mindset change. And as I said, the pain level, uh, I think the pain level <coughs> is as high as people resist the process. So the less people resist it, the less painful it is. But I think the pain comes in in the behavior change and doing things differently. And none of us really particularly dive into change willingly. Normally we go kicking and screaming, and now and again we, we get something, we understand it's valuable, and then we go along with it. So having people who are catalysts in going along with change, trying new things, or bridge inject into a team that is used to the old methodology. And that is pretty much our experience which we wanted to share with you. Your shoes are sort of trending on Twitter at the moment, so I'll leave those questions to the last. Um, anyone got any questions about Anna, Jay's team? Yes. Um, what did you say if I missed it in the talk? What type of documentation are you, are you using as articles? Just for the rest of the uh, audience, um, what kind of documentation are you using as artifacts for the project? So at the moment, we, we initially had already done a VRS because we thought we were going to do multiple, so we got that. We haven't looked at that very much. Uh, but the all business processes now are documented. Uh, obviously, the stories are also documented on, we use the Mingle system, which uh, you know pretty much keeps track of everything we're delivering. And of course, then there's the code. But, uh, and there's a business case, etc. So we continually to put in the right documentation in the right places. We had to provide specs to clients for a particular file upload. That documentation has to be done. You can't say to your client, look it up. Uh, it doesn't go down well. Um, and equally, when staff members join, new staff members who have to now use the system, it's important that they have something to refer to. So we've decided either we're going to do that as an online help, or we'll have that documentation as well. Because you can't keep harassing your IT people uh, when someone joins to go and train them. Their job is really to deliver technology rather than train the staff to 